Look at this ginormous mug. I love her. Hey guys, what's up? It's um, welcome back or welcome to my channel. So y'all might have seen that I recently did a 2024 jewelry wishlist video just for funsies. But recently I've been seeing a lot of videos tackling the topic of anti-hauling, anti-trends, those type of videos and I thought I'd do an anti-haul response to that wishlist video almost like an anti-wish list I'm gonna be talking about some trends that I probably won't be partaking in in 2024 for one reason or another it might just be that I already have pieces that kind of align with that trend maybe that trend doesn't really suit my personal taste or my personal style or it could just be that I know that further down the line it's not going to be something that's very long term for me I've been really interested and in trying to learn more about being more intentional with the way we consume, the way I consume, and also just being more intentional with the things that I choose to bring into my life, the things that I choose to spend my money on. Historically, I've been a bit of an impulse shopper. I can be a bit of a victim to trends, so it's you know, not out of character for me. Being more intentional with my purchases has been something that I've been continuously working towards. Furthermore, I just really like watching these types of videos, so I thought you guys might enjoy seeing my perspective as well. And disclaimer, this is in no way judging or being shady towards people who like these trends or people who choose to partake in these trends or like these trends, plan on purchasing jewelry that pertains to these. These are just my opinions, so please feel free to take them with a grain of salt, no harm intended, and feel free to disagree with me in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your guys' perspectives. So I'm getting a lot of these trends from a bunch of the kind of fashion blog websites, and the first trend that I see is rosettes. And personally, I love rosettes and clothing, and I think they look so pretty. I feel like it's very elegant, but also very fun. I love flowers and floral in general, so you would think that this is something that's up my alley. However, looking at the pieces that they present on the website, a lot of these pieces are made out of fabrics. I'm not 100% sure about how I feel regarding fabric and jewelry. I think that it's really beautiful, but I just feel like it's not something I will partake in. It feels a little bit less timeless to me, and I think it's because I'm a little bit scarred from when everyone went through the flower crown phase. Oh my god, are rosettes like the flower crown of 2024? Did I just cook? At the same time, I really do see the appeal. They are so gorgeous. I just don't think that I personally will partake in this trend, even though I do actually kind of like it the more that I'm looking at it right now. The next trend is anklets. And this is something that... I think that anklets are something that I haven't ever really put much thought into. I don't really love wearing sandals because the concept of feet kind of freak me out. But also I think that if I really wanted to experiment with the idea of an anklet, I could just find one of my bracelets where the adjustable chain is a little bit longer and kind of replicate that kind of a vibe using a bracelet. So I wouldn't really need to go out and buy something new. The next trend is chunky silvers. And while I really love chunky jewelry, the thing that I'm anti-hauling which I'm also kind of on the fence about whether or not I'm truly anti-hauling, is silver jewelry. You guys probably can tell and probably already know that I'm a gold jewelry girly. I really don't wear silver pieces. I used to, and I think that with my skin tone, I actually can pull it off since I tend to lean a little bit more neutral. Maybe I do need to give it a try, but I think that I've curated my gold jewelry collection to a point that I'm pretty happy with in order to start purchasing silver jewelry and kind of building up my capsule silver collection it'd be a little bit more challenging i would have to start to buy more things and also i know that mixing metals is really popular and really cool and gives off a really effortless cool girl vibe the lighting is crazy right now i think that mixing metals is really cool so i wouldn't have to find a lot of silver pieces in order to get a really cool mixed metal look so this one i'm kind of on the fence about but I do kind of like the matchy-matchy vibe of gold. I think that I would honestly be open to the idea of mixing metals. I just don't really have any silver jewelry to do that with. And I'm not sure if I want to buy silver jewelry to experiment with. But honestly, maybe. The other trend that I'm not sure I'm going to partake in is the single statement earring. I have a lot of piercings, so I tend to buy my earrings in pairs anyways. I do have a couple of pairs of statement earrings where I could just pull one from the pair and that be the standout singular earring. So maybe this will be something I try out and just experiment with on my own. I kind of struggle with making 
very asymmetric piercing stacks, especially with my lower piercings. It's a little bit of unfamiliar terrain for me, so honestly, I would be open to trying these things out. Maybe I can do a video where it's like trying out jewelry trends that I'm on the fence about, for example, the mixing metal, silver jewelry, and maybe even the single statement earring. Now I'm on Stylecaster and they're throwing me some curveballs over here. So the first thing that I'm seeing is bikini jewelry. Do we know her? Who is she? I'm gonna do some research. Based on what I'm seeing, it looks like they're charms that go on the in-between connector strap of like a triangle bikini. Very interesting. Again, it feels like something that you wouldn't really need to go out to buy. You could probably pull it off with like some existing pieces in your collection and just kind of attach it strategically. Or if you have some existing body chains, you could wrap it around and kind of experiment that way. So the next trend that I see that I'm gonna be anti-hauling is the singular pendant. But specifically in this case, they're talking about those really long necklaces that have a single statement pendant at the bottom. And personally, I just don't love that. And I'm pretty sure it's because I'm pretty short. So I think that it'd be really hard for me to pull that off. I think that if I wore a long necklace, it would make my proportions look really out of whack. But I think that tall people tend to be able to pull off long necklaces really well. So if you're a tall girly, maybe look into this. I don't know. I feel like if someone has a like, cool librarian energy, they could really pull that off like really cutely. Unless I become taller in the upcoming year, which honestly would be really cool if the universe wants to send me some tall energy my way, that'd be really awesome. I probably won't be partaking in this. I'm just now realizing that I really love the um, graphic design of the Net-A-Porter website. Their blog posts are really beautifully curated. And finally, I'm going to be anti-hauling extremely super duper chunky pieces, like the ones that are like super sized jewelry. I think that the trend is very editorial, very beautiful, but personally, I don't have any pieces like that in my collection. And I feel like they'd be a little bit expensive to source. I think that you could probably thrift these pieces. So honestly, maybe I'll keep a lookout, but I don't know if it really fits my lifestyle or my style. I tend to dress a lot more casually and those feel a lot more elevated, again, editorial. And I don't know if my style really matches that kind of beautiful, elegant, chunky, sculptural vibe. And I think that this is where like interpretation of trends really comes in because I do love like moderately chunky pieces and I do think that that matches my style. However, beyond a certain level of chunky, it might get a little bit too much for me and that's okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of different style of video today. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you wanna see more kind of anti-haul content, let me know in the comments down below. I really loved filming this video and also looking at trends. Let me know if there's any trends that you're anti-hauling this season or if there's any trends that I mentioned that you honestly love and you're definitely going to be partaking in this season. Definitely let me know as well. Thanks for watching today's video and I hope you guys have an amazing rest your day. Bye!